Hello everybody and welcome to the first of many hopefully Monster Hunter videos on this channel. Uh, today we are going to do a high rank Odogaron uh, hammer. I'm wearing his entire set. I will show you the skills now so you can see it. I have a bunch of extra skills on this page just through gems. It's a, a bunch of random shit thrown in uh, until I have better gems. Unfortunately I don't have everything that I want right now. But we have Punishing Draw, Mastery, Leader Resistance, which is great for this fight particularly. Granted, I am wearing his full set, so that does help. But um, bleeding is something that can be a bit of an annoyance. And that is everything. We're also using the Hammer, uh, which one? The Iron Archdemon, which is the highest of the Iron Path before... Well, there's one more level of this, or you can swap it to the... Uh, to the dragon one whose name is escaping me. Nair Gigante, you can go down his path, which is what I'm doing as soon as I have a couple more pieces. But for now, we're going to bring this and just do raw damage. And I am... Okay, I do have jerky. Good. All right, well, we are all set. We're going to start in camp 11 because he is right next to it. My cat is very under-armored as well, but that's okay because the only thing I really rely on it for is dropping Vigor Wasps. Otherwise, we should be fine. This has quickly become one of my favorite fights. Like, I was a little hesitant on it when I started farming it for armor. And after a couple fights of learning his patterns, learning the movements, it is incredibly fun with Hammer. You get to be so aggressive, but be rewarded for it, honestly. And I forgot to eat at the canteen, so we're going to do that real quick. Nope, not points. Money, please. Skip all that just so we can get to him as quickly as possible. Really, you want me to go up? I've never gone up before. Take my chance. I also want to collect this. There he is. See? I have no idea why are you telling me to go up. I don't know what my flies were doing, but... Oh good. I love when he brings in here. The fight is so much better in here. We can get a lot of damage done before he goes to the next zone. Don't leave. Come on. I know most of the time it's really nice to uh, add the charge effect on your hammer for more damage, but in this particular case, the extra downtime or the extra time it takes for a super pound is actually pretty detrimental. I found I've gotten hit a lot. That was a dumb hit. I was greedy there. Trying to get a triple pound off. Really need you to focus me instead of my cat. Fine, we'll get some hits towards the tail break. He always does a double jump and then normally a claw of some kind. Oh, it's been a while since I fought him. I gotta remember the uh, my dodge patterns here. There we go. Try and catch him on the back swing. Almost. He went for me, or went for the cat instead of me, unfortunately. There's the face connection. Oh, I'm dizzy. I wasn't hit that rapidly, damn game. Alright. I think we'll switch it up. I keep missing all my shots, so... I'm gonna do a charge. That was not what I was trying to do, game. Not what I was trying to do. I was going to say I was gonna focus on two charges for the uppercut. And we'll just do that from now on. 
Try and get our first KO. This fight has always gone slow for me at the beginning. Of him just being way too hyperactive. And then we hit one good, uh, one good hit and it just snowballs from there. At least in my experience. This is still not my cleanest fight for him. I've been fighting, uh, I've been fighting pretty much everything but him once I got his set. And now I'm just trying to get back in the field for it. I did not grab any of the flame pods, fortunately. That's alright, we'll fight in the muck for now. It's not gonna do anything too crazy to us, so I'll deal. First break. To calm the fuck down. 3D triple bound. Didn't work. Look at me. Now oh, we got the tail loose, nothing else. And he's all tuckered out now. Which just means we're gonna get the freest triple pounds in the world. There we go. That's what I was going for. We'll get one triple pound, and then I think we'll go for a big bang. And I'm not hitting him. You probably can. Thanks to the paralyze. I love when that happens. That's a lot of free, free damage. Fine. I'll take all these little hits if I have to. Give me more headshots, please. So if I get paralyzed, I'm not going to be as happy. He almost did it. Yeah, since the safety, I guess I'll heal once. Just so I don't get comboed. Did my cat do to you, dude? Calm the fuck down. There goes a claw. We'll try and go for our second KO. I don't get double KOs too often on this fight, unless they really cooperate with the, par or the paralysis, but it's totally possible. I also haven't fought him with this weapon. I was using a weaker poison hammer from the Puke Puke. This was a more recent addition to my weapons collection. And Gyrus is here, which means it's gonna turn into a clusterfuck of paralysis now. That's fine. I'll bide my time. No! My healing! No! Son of a bitch. Alright. I get some stamina. I'm gonna go nuts on my cat. For some reason. Really wanted him to get close enough for that to be a headshot. Couldn't cancel my swing in time. It's alright. That was the, uh, divine mastery proccing right there. It wasn't even a heavy attack, but any reduction is welcomed right now. Don't Superman dive. You didn't need a Superman dive to that. Okay. That time I was just pussing out. I got no stamina. Holy shit. Am I really running that much? Enough with the dive. Come on, normal roll, please. Ooh, my spacing is so bad right now. 
Thanks, cat. My cat is carrying me. Yep, he's carrying me super fucking hard. Jump backwards. Jump into me. Stop roaring. And he's leaving. Alright, let's get a sharpen off. We've been in green for a while now. And also grab finger torches so I can finally get out of the muck. Hopefully we won't get hit too, because I really don't wanna I wanna naturally regain regen the red hell. That just means we have to fight flawlessly until it's back. There's the mount. That's one thing the Veil suffers from, at least the areas where he likes to fight, is there aren't too, too many mount opportunities. So unless you're a glaive user, something, just pick and choose. Take what you can get. I'm hoping with all the gears around here as well, we should be able to get a good paralyzed KO combo going. Oh shit. Okay. We got lucky. I was not watching my stamina. I was being real greedy there. There's the paralyze. Not gonna last very long though. Another for a triple pound though. There's the KO. By the time that this is all done, he's probably going to be ready to- Oh, and he's paralyzed again, yep. This is by far the best area to fight him in, as long as you don't get an unlucky roll and get paralyzed with the Gyrus. You can try to prevent that by hanging out on the opposite side. But there's no guarantee. Sometimes Monster Hunter hitboxes are just um, bullshit, honestly. Oh, hello. Great. I cannot stand this monster. I know it's not pronounced properly, but we've been calling him Basil Goose because it makes us laugh. But he's a pain in the ass to fight. He interrupts this shit way more than I'd like. And actually, I think I brought Dung with me. Did I? Did. You need to get the. F no, not you. You know what? It's actually okay too. Yep, bye. Oh, come on, don't you go there too. Well, that's worst case scenario. They were not both supposed to be dung potted. Or Dogaran just got right in the middle of my shit. Right. Now he's gonna get carpet bombed. Oh man. May as well take advantage of it. I mean, I'm probably gonna take a hit here, but. And we didn't. Should be limping now. He is. Alright, we're just gonna go cap. He's going to go to 13. For the sake of better rewards and, uh, essence of time. I'm just capturing. I am gonna make sure he has done enough damage by doing the fun wake up with the hammer. It's only the first hit is multiplied when they sleep, and the charged hit does three. Do a little bit of spacing just like this. You do the wind up, and boom. 249 is pretty heavy. Alright, capture complete. That is the high rank Odogaron. Not my smoothest fight by any means. Got hit way too early on going greedy for triple pounds. But um, yeah, there you go. I'm mostly a hammer user. For the time being, most of my videos will be with the hammer. But I plan on expanding into almost every other weapon as well. So thank you for watching and uh, 
lot more Monster Hunter coming.